Hi, welcome back to XWAP YouTube channel. Today we are going to check very very important um, aspect of upgrade of UiPath Studio. How do you get the automatic upgrade of UiPath Studio? Is your UiPath Studio getting automatic upgraded? Is it happening with you? So let's we are going to cover all this topic which may be helpful for you. So now if you look at my UiPath Studio. I am currently running at 2020.10.6 which is quite quite old and if you open the UiPath assistant and try to check even this is running the similar version 2020.10.6 okay and what is the latest one do you know what is the latest one okay to check the latest one all you do log into cloud.uipath.com and I'm going to tell you there are a couple of errors which has come on the orchestrator that's why I'm making this video which I'm pretty sure many of you might have faced it and if you got an answer well and good if not this video is going to help you okay there are a couple of problems I'm going to show you okay first of all let's log into orchestrator log into your specific services or your tenant log into your tenant so once you log in into this and hit on the tenant and click on machines okay you would find something called non-compliant if you see look at the machine it is saying non-compliant for me and when you read it it clearly tells you there is a version difference the current version what you are using your UiPath assistant and your UiPath studio is quite older than the latest version of what is available okay so if you get this kind of error this is going to help you let's say you are not aware of orchestrator but you wanted to simply upgrade your uipath studio to the latest one okay even those people can watch it you don't have to really know about orchestrator on this one okay so for this all you need to do click on the help section of the orchestrator page so once you log into cloud.uipath.com click on the help section once you click on the help section there are two different areas that you would find for the community edition one it says preview the other one it stays says table so if you look at the preview the preview is on a higher end which is 2021 10.0 the stable one which is very stable which has been tested and it is all okay and it is a stable version which is at 21.4 2021.4 and this is 2021.10 so people who are very much interested to get monthly updates they can go with this one and people who want to go with the stable one and they want to receive only few updates in a given year as per the release so they can go with this one but the best thing about all this new installation is that any new upgrade is going to happen in the future through the new msi file it is going to automatically update for you so let me tell you if you were on an older version what was the problem let me first show you that so anyone who is there on 2020 on dot 2 or the older ones okay if you are still on 2021.2 they have clearly said our request is to manually update to the latest 2021.4 so you have to do a manual so before you upgrade let me give you a disclaimer please try to back up if you have got any important project you can take up the backup of the folder and any other important thing you want to take a backup because once you that is I think that is not necessary to take a backup but again if you have something very important I don't want you to lose it so that's a disclaimer please do experiment before because I have not yet experimented so I'm not sure so please do experiment and take a take care of your important data okay I think that is not necessary it should have it should not hamper your previous older projects but you know I'm getting a giving you a disclaimer all right uh, so manually upgrade manual update is required if you are having 2020.2 community preview or below before that okay if you have any other older version so for me it is quite uh, old 2020 it's not even 21 okay but one of the very important thing also you need to note before you go to 2021.4 is no longer uh, compatible with windows 7 so if you are having windows 7 you need to be careful so windows 7 no no okay so you cannot install on windows 7 be uh, careful about that if you have windows 10 you can go for an upgrade okay the other point i would like to make uh, if you look at this uh, you need to check what 
if you are using a 64 bit operating system then it's quite good so if you install a 64 bit installer i mean both the installers are available if you go for the 64 bit installer what would happen you'll get auto updates if you are installing the 32 bit update then you may not receive the so they are clearly saying auto updates will roll out only to 64 bit based machines so how do you get that if you are uh, running a so click on windows r and uh, or the sim the simplest way to know that open uh, your folder and then uh, and then uh, you can right click on the computer and click on properties and you can see for me it's a 64 bit but i am running on windows 7 so i may not go for it but again if you are on windows 10 please go for it so 64 bit operating system that's my recommendation but you can you will need to be very very careful so that you do not lose any of your projects okay or any other important uh, aspects of your path studio or anything related to that okay so uh, th this should be very pretty clear if you're on using a 32 bit even 32 bit installer is also available so uapastudio.msi is now a 64 bit installer a 32 bit version of uapastudio.msi is also available and can only be installed on a 32 bit operating system okay so better if you have you are having a 64 bit go for that okay so these are very very important information um, and after you install uh, because i cannot go for it so after you install uh, please go to orchestrator okay and and see the non-compliant area on the machine section right so let's click on tenant and click on machines and check the non-compliant area um, right check that if it is been uh, resolved okay just let me know just comment me if this had helped you by upgrading to the latest uipath studio version okay this for again for the community edition so thank you so much guys for watching it we are going to come up um, daily with some videos i was not getting time uh, sorry for that uh, but again i will try my best to at least release a single video almost every day i will try that so thank you so much guys for your love and support i have been finding a lot of interesting comments uh, but I did not had enough time to come back and create some content. So today somehow I found time. So thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys have given. Thank you guys. We'll see, see you again in our next video. Bye-bye.